Hello everyone, um, welcome back. I'm your lovely host, Cinnamon Walken, and welcome back to Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Remastered. So, unfortunately, if you notice that there is a bit of a skip, or if you feel like you're missing some information, um, it is because my game crashed, but not only did it crash, it, um, the recording got corrupted. So, um, I'm going to try and, so I found more information about with Carla, uh, how to go to a file area, more or less that's what you missed. Of course, it was like a claustrophobia area, so I had to do a little breathing exercise every time I moved and walked around, which was kind of cool. I don't think I really talked a lot during that because I had to focus on that. And then, um, the other one with, um, shit, my brain's kind of blank. Uh, I can't remember his name right now. Oh, the other police officer. I had to go to a bookstore and we got more information from there. I was able to find that uh, this book was given, the Tempest was given to him. Brother, and now I'm at a witch's place, which I have played, well, not a witch. Her name's Agatha. And I was doing some stuff, but I couldn't. The only way to I don't know if I, if it's going to kick me back to the beginning or what. But we'll see now. Whoever it was so I'm going to put that here. This murder has erased him okay, so I'm going to probably redo all this. There still must be a trace in your unconscious. I can help you to locate. It's an exhausting ceremony, and there's always a risk involved. Do you, or do you not wish to try it? I do. I do. Give me your hand. So I guess y'all get to at least see this part with Lucas. I'm not going to be talking a lot during this, though, because it's going to be a lot of the red, green, blue, yellow stuff. I want you to empty your mind and open wide. Let me enter there. Right. We're still together. Lucas, are you there? Yes. I want you to return to the rest. <sighs> okay. Just before the events began. Evacuate this part's the not too bad. It's a lot of just blue and yellow. I've gone back and forth like a hypnosis, but anywho. I'm standing outside the restaurant. I want you to enter the restaurant now. My nose is itchy. I want to scratch it. I have to really focus hard though, because it's like a lot going on sometimes. I've gone into the restaurant. Get ready. What do you see? People I all see around me are familiar faces. And I see the waitress. Can you see the table where you were sitting? I'm looking. There's a police officer. He's sitting at the counter. Concentrate, Lucas. Now. Sounds like I'm panicky. It's like I don't want to die. I had to scratch my nose real quick. I'm standing next to my table, but it's empty. You haven't arrived and sat down there yet? Yes, I have. My meal is already on the table. I, I think this is when I murdered him. I Stay calm, Lucas. I want you to tell me exactly where you are. All right, cool, I got it. I'm, I'm in the restroom, and so is the other man. What's Green peeing. <laughs> he taking a big old leak. I like how he says urinating. I don't think anyone says urinating. Hey, you want to sound more fancy? Use big know. words. I can't see myself. There I am. I was in a toilet stall. Oh my god! I'm holding a knife. He doesn't see me. I don't see how you're in the reflection of the mirror. The guy should have paid attention a little bit better. I can't control. Especially with all that twitching. I'm walking up behind the man. 
He doesn't see me. I don't want to. I don't want to, but I can't stop myself. Oh, whoops. I didn't, I guess, flick that right. Oh, whoops. I want you to re-enter the restaurant. But now, it is prior to going into the toilet stall. Do you understand, Lucas? Before. I think I felt again. It's essential that you keep your concentration, Lucas. Like at the same area I did last time. Mind of all thoughts. Let's begin again. <sighs> Where are you now? The thing is, I only like messed up twice. Wow, I got like ten things I right. So that kind of bothers me a little bit. I don't like how yes, I am. if you make like one mistake, it's either great or fail. What are you doing? They should have made like a mediocre one where it's like okay, or technically perfect, great, uh, okay, and then fell or bad. Yes, Shakespeare, The Tempest. What else do you see? Like if I miss ninety percent of the time. Before I am subject to a tyrant, a sorcerer, that by his cunning hath cheated me of the island. What did you say? It's a passage from Shakespeare's Tempest. That's what you're reading, is it not? Yes. Someone's coming toward me. A man. Can't see his face. A customer. I don't know. I think so. I can't see. Negative thing is, I've seen this part before. And what does he say to you? I, I, I don't know. They all get to see this part. Because the rest of it did get corrupted. It's one of my favorite books. A shame so few people read Shakespeare these days. Would you mind if I sat down for a moment? Ah, no. It's just that I am an introvert. I like being alone. A man sat down at my table and now the waitress is coming. Sir? A coffee, please. The waitress. It's as if she didn't see the man, like he was invisible. So much has been written about. Problem is, I also kind of want to watch some of the cutscene, but anywho. I like his mouth just kind of dropped open a little bit. He's like, oh. "What's happening, Lucas?" I I don't know. The man gives off a very strange energy. It's hard to describe. Go on, Lucas. What happens after that? Do you believe in the power of magic? No, I'm not. I, don't. I believe in Listen, magic. I'm magic. More. You know there's much more to our universe than can be perceived by the naked eye. Your coffee, sir. Coffee? How, like, how I know her name? Ooh, I messed up, kinda. The waitress has brought him his coffee. But she's talking oh, to crap. me as if I was the one who ordered it. She doesn't know that he's there. She can't see him. And now what's happening? Oh, cool. I got a great that time. Listen, I don't want to be rude. But I guess if you mess up once, it's not too bad. I would ditch out someone started speaking to me like that. Feel my body. I can't move. The man, Lucas. Where is the man? He, he stood up. He's gone out. He's it's inside me. Now. He controls me. Follow the man, Lucas. Hurry. I command you to follow that man closely. He's probably just gonna go to the bathroom. He's going out the rear door. Follow him. Your mind oh, and crap. are now linked. You can see what he sees. Oh, I thought I messed up. Okay, I messed up like one more time beforehand, so. Hmm.
You know who that man was, don't you, Agatha? No. I don't know. I'm not sure who he is. Yes, you do know who he is. You understood it all as soon as you felt the scars on my arms. What are these things? Hey, you shouldn't be too rough with the old lady. Done to me. You should go now, Lucas. There's nothing more that I can do for you. You could at least explain what the hell's happening to me. He made me kill a man. I want to know. I need to know. I have to verify certain things. There's nothing more I can tell you today. Come back tomorrow night at the same time. I'll explain more then. Okay, Duke. Okay, so Tyler. Cool, we're gun shooting. Training Sergeant Mitchell? That's him, in the second to last row. Thanks. Second to last. Sergeant Mitchell? Yes? I'm hey, you Hollywood. did the crazy craze, right? Would you mind if I asked you a few questions concerning one of my investigations? Young lady, I haven't worked in investigations for a long time. I doubt I can be much help. It's concerning an old case, but I'm still looking into it. The Kirsten case? Because you can't locate the file, is that right? Yes, that's right. The file's been classified. How'd you like to do some target practice with me? Sure. Why not? I'm blue. I like blue. Your gun is right in front of you. Go ahead. And grab it. Press the R button to shoot and then press the RS button to reload. Kill terrorists to gain time, don't shoot innocents to avoid penalties. Oh, whoops. Very good shot. I have to say you're a heck of a lot better than most I see. Oh, there. whoops! I think I accidentally shot him in the sun. So, I kind of got case. careless. Well, for instance, what exactly happened? A guy named Kirsten's calmly shopping in his local supermarket. He's in the kitchen accessories aisle when someone picks up a knife and stabs him to death. Was the killer apprehended? He didn't move from the spot. We found him sitting on the floor next to the victim, like he was waiting for us with this blank stare on his face it's pretty bizarre maybe he just cracked lost it for a moment some people are like time bombs just waiting to go off that's the first theory i had until i saw the coroner's report each knife entry cut cleanly into an artery leading to the heart with perfect accuracy a decision like that i mean the guy had a one in a million chance of doing that even right. if he'd been a surgeon. Did he have any history of drug addiction? Or previous psychiatric problems? That's the first angle I looked into. But no, no drugs, no drinking, just a very normal Joe. Family man, wife and kids, good neighbor. It's completely... Excellent target. Looks like a very natural. You didn't stop your investigation there, did you? No, this case really intrigued me. What could have motivated him to do something like that? And I checked out piles of leads and discovered almost by accident that this wasn't the first. There had been other killings with the same profile. That's crazy. You mean where the killer had the same bizarre M.O. and stuck around afterwards? Exactly. Three weeks earlier, on the other side of town, another stabbing victim in the middle of the street, no motive. Then I discovered a third case, two months prior to that. Then another, and another, and always the same M.O. You mean to say the killings are all connected? No idea. All I know is that the murders were basically identical. 
He slices the arteries leading to the heart, slices them cleanly, and then carves a symbol on his own arms. And your investigation into the supermarket killing. Did it lead anywhere? You should drop this one, Detective. This is not just a murder case. There's something very odd going on behind the scenes. Looks like I'll be starting a new file. Tell more shooting. All right, cool. It's like talk to him a little bit, shoot, shoot oh, impress him with my skills. Oh no, I guess I just wanted to do a cool badass scene. Good and hard on the investigation. Ah, basketball. Carla had asked. Now I just wanted to relax and play some b-ball, and also settle a little score I had with Jeffrey. It's music copyrighted. I can't believe they're playing like that in the cold. I mean, I guess when you get hot, you warm up quite a bit. I mean, when I used to do track, I'd not in snow though. That would wear my tank and shorts. Right. Okay, here's the rules. First to score 10 points wins the game and $200. That cool for you? You can kiss your money goodbye. We'll see. Let's do it. Since I'm such a good sport, you start with the ball. Well, I don't want him to lose that much, so. Nice, got one shot. Just need one more shot. She gave me that free throw. I'm just kidding. Sweet. That's impressive. He hits the lane. He drives and he scores. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our play of the day. Technically, oh, he's just a drop of the money. He up pretty good for a white cop. You ain't so bad yourself. You got some game. Maybe I should have mentioned. I did some ball at college. So, as for the hundred, it's game over, man. You're a real SOB, Tyler. I know. And that's why you like me, Jeffrey. <laughs> Thought he was gonna throw his money away for... Um... Let's go back and play this guy. Of course, I feel like I didn't play them... Well, I feel like I played her for a long time, but I didn't get to play Tyler as long as... Others. Okay, let's see. Let me pick up the telephone. Lucas Kane. Master Nocti Lan. No. Hang up the phone. Get ready, okay. Oh, can I die? Great. Because I think my legs are actually out. <laughs> dodging, dodging. Hey, I should have played the other cop because I'm having to do a lot of this blue, red, green, yellow shit. This is crazy. Alcohol. I'm just kidding. Oh, snap.
I'm gonna die. Get ready. Phone. Everything in my house is gonna... Oh. Fail. Oh. So it is this button. So it is Eleanor, my bad. I kind of forgot which ones it was. I'll have to find more crosses soon. <laughs> My furniture is possessed. I was like, dodge, boy. What the fuck? How did I am I getting outside? I'm gonna die. Man, these things last forever. I'm so intense. My TV! That's <laughs> gonna just grab me from below. Do I need to move? Get ready! Time to parkour out of here. My apartment is like about to not exist anymore unless this is like all in my head. Definitely be dead now with the other stuff. This terrifying story haunted me all night long. I had to see him, to talk to him. I had to find out what Agatha had told him. I wanted to look my brother in the eye and hear the truth. I'd never been to his apartment before, and it took me some time to find it. Oh, am I playing his brother now? Oh, hold up. I've never been to his apartment before. Lucas Kane. That's it. Help, <laughs> brother. Lucas, Lucas, open the door. Lucas, I could swear that I heard a scream coming from inside. The doorman said Lucas was at home, but he isn't opening. Is in danger. I've got no other choice. Okay, time to slam. Be the big brother. I know where he's at. They gave me a hint. Oh god. These controls though. Oh, run, run, boy. Lucas! Oh my god. Time to grab him. Grab my brother. Grab him. Get him. Lucas is back to neutral. Lucas, for 
God's sake! Have you lost your mind? What's come over you? The walls... The walls were blown away, and... The wind... The tempest, I... Why did you do this, Lucas? Why? Somebody tried to kill me. For heaven's sake, Lucas! There's no one else here but you and I. You were all alone when I arrived. All alone, Lucas. What's happening to me, Marcus? I don't know what's happening. It'll be all right, Lucas. Everything will be fine. I'm going to help you. You'll see. Oh, that's sweet. It's a loving brother, tenderly brother moment. That plushie is sweet. Look at them old CRT TVs. Sure took your time. I was in the shower. What do you got? I got nothing. Dead end. Impossible to ID the page marker found in the book from the restaurant. It's got a series of numeric codes written on it. But it just looks like a lot of numbers to me. I, I thought you might have some ideas. Why don't you fax it to me? I wasn't tired anyway. I'm sure it'll make for good bedtime reading. Okay, I'll send it now. If you could get any brainstorms, give me a ring. I'll be here for a while. Tonight's gonna be a long one. Okay, talk to you later, Tyler. Bye, have a good night. Oh, so I can switch between him? Okay, cool, cool. Let me switch to him real quick. Normally, I don't like leaving Sam home alone, especially now. But this bookmark had me intrigued. I had a gut feeling that I was holding the key that would identify our killer. I felt like I was closing in on him, and I wasn't about to go home to sleep until I figured out what this paper meant. Let's see. Just had to fax it over. Oh man, nothing but stock quotes. How can anyone possibly decipher these things? They Wait a minute. That's it. I gotta call Carla right away. It wasn't the telephone over here? It's a list of stock quotes, Carla. Our bookmark was printed in a bank. Of course. It's so obvious. How'd you figure that out? I opened the paper to the stock quotes page and it was it was right under my nose the whole time. Now we just have to figure out which bank printed it. Can you fax me the bookmark? I think I have an idea. I'll call you right back. Where's the fax machine? What's that? There we go. Took me like forever. Okay. Okay, well, I think I faxed it. Who could that be at this hour? I'm not expecting anyone. Oh, whoops. I thought that was something else. Wow, that would be hardcore security. Yes. Well, apparently, I can't open the door looking like the way I am. One second, I don't know how to move these controls properly.
put some clothes on apparently. I'm working on it, my guy. I'm working on it. I was feeling kind of bored and thought as my official friendly neighbor you'd agree to share my boredom. And this excellent bottle of French Chablis. In my capacity as your friendly neighbor, I wouldn't think of refusing your boring invitation or your excellent wine, Tommy. I imagine that even a die-hard bachelorette like yourself must have some wine glasses around here somewhere. Hmm. I think I do have some. Somewhere. Sit down, Tommy. I'll find him. I'm gonna assume they're in the kitchen. Don't mind me while I'm... Did I not fax it properly? That sucks. At least I found the wine glasses pretty easy. I'm a good guesser. So we don't get plastered. All right. What to? To love. What else? I'll drink to that. I have candles. Sweet. Are you with anyone? Well, actually, I did meet someone two weeks ago. He's very real and very nice. And he works in a bank, too. I think this time it could turn into something serious. Huh. And you, how are you? Business seems good. Every day in the papers they're writing about the rise in crime. At least you must feel useful. <sighs> Not especially. You know, when you make your rounds and see ten-year-old kids in the street, stoned on whatever, waving guns around, it makes you feel pretty useless. That sucks. There's more and more kids on the streets, and we, we just don't have any concrete response to the problem, other than prison. Sometimes it gets to me, and I, I feel depressed. I'm happy to see you got your smile back. We all have our ups and downs, right? I always thought that people in New York didn't give a damn about gayness. They were so enlightened. How wrong I was. They still look at us as being different from so-called normal folks. And not small talk. Look at what I brought. Tarot cards. Tarot cards? Or tarot cards. I never saw them right. <laughs> You mean you know how to use those things? My grandmother was a psychic. She taught me how to read the cards when I was just a kid. She handed Tagatha. down her seeing powers to me. It really works, you know. What the cards foretell always come to pass. Time to die if I get a card. Let's see if you're going to meet your true soulmate or if you're going to die as a wrinkled old maid. <laughs> okay, Mr. Gypsy. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. It's easy. First, take the cards and mix them up. Yeah, put my energy on it. I'm gonna do it a couple of times. I wanna really get that good luck in there. All right, I think that should be good enough. Tarot cards before they're kind of fun. Cards. Hmm. I'll take this one. One child, two destinies, a path toward life, the other path toward death. Carla, I think we'll stop there. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. It's the first time I've ever read this sort of thing in the cards. I usually don't express anything like this. Don't apologize, Tommy. It's just a silly game. I never believed in fortune-telling anyway. 
Well, I've got to get home. It's late. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's probably because a bunch of negative shit's gonna happen. I got some today. Yes, when are you interested in investments? It's about one of my investigations. I thought maybe you could help me with a question I have. I was wondering, is there a way to identify a bank from a list of stock quotes that they've printed? From your facts, no. But normally the original document is printed on watermarked paper showing a numeric ID code identifying the bank. The ID code is printed on a watermark? Oh, sweet. Right, I'll check our document to see. Thanks, Tommy. I think one up. Good night, Carla. That's it. I've got to call Tyler. Tyler just sent it to me. Oh, I guess I gotta call Tyler now. What's this? I don't want any music. Might be copyrighted. <sighs> Yeah. Our bookmark should be watermarked with the bank's ID code. I'll check it out and call you right back. So Walmart. Did I even look? Look better this time. Move the light with the joystick or the direction keys. Okay, I didn't do that right. Move the light with the joystick or the direction keys. Oh, there you go. I think I found it. Sweet. Tyler? I've got the code. You should have no trouble identifying which bank it corresponds to. This time we've got our killer. I think I'll pay a little visit to the bank tomorrow. You want me to go? Yeah, why not? Okay, you go. We'll meet afterwards at the station and go over it all. See you tomorrow, Tyler. See you tomorrow. I think two's better than one. Especially with that negative reading I just got. I finally convinced Marcus to let me go out. I'd slept most of the day and he'd stayed to watch over me. I needed to get out and get back in touch with reality. My physical condition was deteriorating rapidly. My mental state wasn't much better. I could feel myself slipping away. I knew that it wouldn't be long before I lost it. Hello, Detective Taylor Miles, New York Police. The police, they found me. Can I... <sighs> no. Wait. Oh, crap. I actually... I didn't mean to hit that. Oh. of computer paper. I think I must have used it for a bookmark. Uh-oh, I'd better try to hide this. I don't really 
really know where to hide at, my guy. Richard III. I often read Shakespeare. I like the sober, desperate tone. Huh? Marcus gave me this book, along with the one I left in the restaurant. Better not leave it lying around. I did not realize I had evidence lying around. Hello, I'm Detective Todd of Miles, New York Police. Are you Lucas Kane? I've just got a couple of questions for you. Well, it's just that I, I don't really see how I could be of any help to you. Well, it's worth a try. It won't take very long. So weird seeing your characters what confront. You could you confirm that this list came from here at the bank? Okay, I got it. I wonder if he's going to say anything about the watermark. The paper does come from here. It has our bank ID code and the watermark. Is there a way to establish where it was printed from? The manager already filled me in, but maybe we can learn something more. Am I playing Tyler right now, or...? This kind of paper is used by stock buyers to print out their quotes. There's about a hundred of them here in the bank. I just don't see oh see a point in lying. This guy seemed really tense. Probably nervous about being questioned by the police. I mean I actually did the Oh flee. Is there a problem, Mr. Kane? Huh? Oh no, no, sorry. There's a flea. Is there a way to determine where oh. this particular document was printed out? Uh Listen, uh, I've had a real hard day, so if you don't mind. Yo, I've had a hard day too, Mr. Kane. The sooner we get this over with, the Oops. happier we'll both be. Now, if you'll just answer the question, please. No, not really. Our printers don't leave any identifiable marks. A witness helped us make a composite photo of the suspect. Would you mind taking a look at it for us? <laughs> Apparently. Ah, uh... oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't. Ooh, I don't know if I should do it again or not. Cause the thing is, oh, I probably shouldn't. Yeah, no. Ooh, last time I accidentally exited. This remind you of anyone? Uh. Sorry, I I'm not much for remembering faces. Plus, you know, I I, I run into a lot of people around here. I understand, but hey. It was worth a shot, right? There we go, that's better. <laughs> it's gonna take us a while to track this guy down. The composite doesn't seem to be helping much. <gasps> Have you noticed anything unusual here at the bank lately? Yeah. Please. He already told me about what happened to this guy yesterday. I wonder if he's going to mention it. Yes, why? Well, well, actually, I'm susceptible to epileptic seizures. They're fairly rare, but they can be violent. In fact, I had one yesterday, and I'm afraid I put on quite a show. But that's about the only unusual thing that's happened here recently. There, I got it. That's weird. His forearms are bandaged. I wonder what happened to him. Did something happen to your arms? Are my arms part of your investigation? No, man, of course not. I was just curious, that's all. Hey, is that you in the picture with the priest? Is he a friend of yours? Ah, uh, he's my brother. That's my brother, Marcus. Sir, are you sure you're feeling all right? You don't look so good. I, I, I might have a little cold. Uh. 
There you go, got it. Yo, he's lying straight up. I can smell it. Damn, maybe this is our guy right here. Stranger things have happened. Uh, I'm not feeling very well. I'm just gonna go and splash some water on my face. You go right ahead. I'll wait for you here. He's acting so strangely. I better take a quick look inside his desk before he gets back. His pen. There ought to be some fingerprints on it. That'll make it easy to see if this is our man. There's something written on the picture. L.K.M.K. June 2003. Another Shakespeare book? Shakespeare. Just like the book in the restaurant. That's worth checking out. I'll just, uh, remove it discreetly. Oh, that should be enough evidence. I can't really find the stock paper because I don't actually know where it went, but anywho. You feeling better? Yes, thanks. Well, I don't have any more questions. Uh, I'll let you get back to work. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. Shouldn't have gone back to work. <laughs> Let's see, how long have I been doing this for? Stop, uh, home? Go ahead and stop for now. Tyler? I didn't expect you so soon. Be a good boy and preheat the oven. Oh, and pour us a couple of glasses of champagne from the fridge. I'll be out in a minute. So. Interesting looking TV, but I'll see you guys later. Seems like my character's gonna get busted. I kind of feel bad for Lucas, but I mean, the other people are gonna do good, I guess. I don't know if <laughs> one side matters more than the other. I don't really think so, but anywho. I'll see you later, Deuces, guys. Oh no, has it been recording at this weird... I just realized something. <sighs> well, sorry for the weird angle. Bye, guys.